Hello, my name is Daniel Choi. I work here at Bishop Morris Legion, um, a high school in Boyle Heights near downtown Los Angeles. Today I've returned to work to find answers to two questions. Um, who are my students and what is the role of technology in the classroom? Um, to help me, I've enlisted the help of a few fine solution Muslims. I'll let them introduce themselves. So, my full name is Stephanie Reyes. Um, my position here is I'm the current Dean of Students for the new school year, and I teach, will be teaching AP Language and Composition. I am Pearl Parker. I am the assistant to Mr. Chacon, our principal. I am the registrar. I am the yearbook instructor and the National Honor Society moderator. I have been at Television for 25 and a half years now. Beast, bro. Beast. This student comes uh, highly recommended by Ms. Pearl Parker, um, and as head of the Honor Society here at Television, he's a smart cookie. Hello, uh -huh. okay. Hi, my name is Jose Chanchavac. I'm going to be a senior here at Television. Uh, I've been here all three years now. First thing I wanted to do was figure out who my students were. And so I asked my interviewees to describe the student body uh, in a few words. Dedicated. Um, teenager. And um, for the most part, respectful. Energetic. Eager. And ready just ready ready for the world that's not three words I, i'll probably say passionate because i don't in the wrong way in, yeah. taking a closer look at our students i wanted to find out about their background and the obstacles they face and this is what they had to say we have students who come from um, I, I guess you can say um, middle class to um, lower working class. So there's a, there's a wide range of different types of students. Most of our families come from very poor families, single income. Um, some of them are new to the state, so they, they have to take low paying wages. I know me personally, I came from, because a lot of us are for probably first generation who are going to be going to college and stuff. So definitely in their education, um, for example, you know, coming into Salesian, you know, my parents had no idea what AP classes were, what um, SAT, they had never heard of SATs, right? I mean, uh, my eighth grade year, I was taking, they, they had like two pre-algebra classes or something, and it was weird. I mean, I, I didn't even know, you know, how the math system worked. And, um, and I know a lot of people are like that too, so um, I guess a lot of people who come from that, uh, First generation background aren't as knowledgeable as other kids. You know, I remember uh, I went to a college conference and there were there was like a girl who apparently had taken like algebra one, algebra two in geometry for middle school, pre-calculus freshman year, calculus BC sophomore year. Obviously, they wouldn't face the same challenges as I did, and I'm as many of the students here. Well. It'll be a little bit different this year because in years past we haven't had like a student learning area, which now we do because of the renovation. So, but I would say that the students, would say for the four years that I've been here, that the students really missed out on an opportunity to um, academically collaborate, collaborate with one another. I think maybe with the um, installment of this new learning center and also to a, a revamp of the guidance counseling, the academic counseling, I think the students will really go ahead and see that, you know, the fruits of their labor are definitely worthwhile. How was technology being used at Salesian, and could technology help these students overcome their obstacles? If so, how? I would say there's still a good handful of students who may not have even computer capabilities at home, or don't have the availability to get to even a library, you know, so um, they do have, a lot of students do have smartphones, but um, there is a limitation to what the smartphone can do versus to what a computer or even an iPad can do. So for parents, um, again, that varies according to what, what they have at hand. So we have some parents who, you know, do have the iPad uh, computers at home and, um, 
and then we have those who don't or who don't even use technology at all. I, I don't really like working on iPads. I always rather, even if it's a book, I rather read the book instead of an ebook. Um, if it's online work, I know the new, the younger class, they had, they did their math homework on the iPad. I, I, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. I'd rather do it in paper. Mm. Uh, but I do like, you know, to a certain extent, it's like Google Classroom, very helpful. Um, you know, we have an alumni who came back and he's doing cross country with us. He said back in his years, he didn't have, uh, the school didn't give them emails. They didn't do anything with Google. And I think that's helped a lot. So to a certain extent, it does help, but then the new programs, uh, I'm not a fan of it, but that's just me. It, I think it depends on the individual. I do believe that it's important because we are living in a time where technology is uh, part of our culture, so it's something that we cannot shy away from as educators. However, I do not feel that we need to go ahead and fully engross a lesson into technology. We can go ahead and use it in strategic areas in order for the student to understand the topic or content a little bit better. Uh, this assignment has given me insight into the population I teach. I can see that the obstacles that are unique to Salesian students include a lack of resources, a lack of access to technology for all students, and also the cultural and academic gap due to the fact that many are first generation Americans. From my investigation, technology has to be considered important in my pedagogy moving forward. However, it is in my opinion that it is not the panacea, for it doesn't cater to all the population's needs. I believe what I need to do is to do a better job of informing my students of their future and their options, um, learning effective teaching practices, both with or without technology, but at the same time not neglecting this tool that is bound to be um, in their future. As a second year teacher, I intend to learn first best practices and classroom strategies while keeping my finger on the pulse of the technology in education.